All right. Welcome to the Kim Show. Special guest, Tyler Francis. Tyler the Tiger Francis. Um, Not the Predator, am I correct? <laughs> yeah, not the Predator. You know, I'm going to try and get past that shit. Get past that shit? Okay. Um, what yeah, do you, what do you, try and stop what do you mean? I'm going to try and stop, like, acting weird, like, all that shit stuff. No, okay. I'm going to stop going after Avery. Avery Star? Yeah. Uh, you know, she's, she's a bit inactive. Yeah, uh, I think me and Deuce talked about her before. Uh, yeah, she's inactive. She has a life um, and whatnot. So that's that's good for her. Good for her. We probably will never see her again. But um, speaking about uh, women fighters, how do you feel about the women division being opened up recently? Uh, I don't know. I feel like the women should just go back into the other divisions for now so I can beat some more asses because you know soon i'm gonna clear out the entire lightweight division you think you're gonna clear out the lightweight division okay yeah, fuck yeah and do yeah. some tires this shit's gonna be easy finish okay. johnny b i'll finish dan beeb how well maverick maverick just uh ko'd uh deuce and bfc man all backpacks of maverick again like i don't care i'll knock him out I'll, i don't care so, so you're telling me that the whole lightweight, the rankings, the the whole division, is light worked for you? Yeah, fuck yeah. Well, what about murder? Murder's murder has come back to lightweight, and he wants to fight Deuce. Um, as of bro, today. every, bro, everyone in the community knows he got his ass beat for three and a half rounds. The only good strike he landed was that knockout kick. That's the only good strike he landed for three and a half rounds. Well, I'm I'm agree with you there because I think. I think you were winning the entire fight. There wasn't a single round I gave to him. Like I wasn't even judging the fight, but like I just was. I personally, I was told after the match. Yeah, I was told after the match. All judges had me up thirty to twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah, you were, you were, you were winning. Um, I don't know if you were. Were you gassed? Were you more gassed than him? I'm not sure. Uh, like not like, I was more gassed than him, but like barely, not that much. Yeah, I I don't know it. I wish I could say it's a flash KO, but I feel like, I feel like that combo just, just hits you kicks, so man. hard, bro. Like, it's, it's just the time kicks. They gotta remove them. It's so annoying. You, I feel like I feel like it's realistic though. Like, as soon as you went for that takedown, it's realistic. It's, hit you with it that knee pisses. and it, oh. Yeah. It gets Damn. realistic. It just pisses me off so much. One of my least favorite things in the game. Well, let's talk. Let's talk about it a little bit more. Um, how did how did it make you f feel to get KO'd after kind of dominating him for three rounds? How did you feel about that? I was kind of pissed off. I wanted a rematch. I still do. Still, we still rematch. talk smack and FC and stuff, but outside of FC, we're good buddies now. Right. Yeah. And I mean, on getting a book event in for BFC. Right. Right. Yeah. Murder does talk a lot of shit in FFC. Um, it's kind of funny sometimes because. Because, like, it's kind of easy to talk shit back because all the stupid shit he does. But, um, yeah, maybe y'all get the fight again next, I don't know, sometime in the future. Um, I yeah, thought. Yeah, I tried for it. You, oh, you, you talked for it? Like, you tried? You talked to Joe I, Rob? I tried. Before? I DM'd him. I DM'd Rob. Rob said maybe he, and then he was dodging, kind of like how Dan Beep was a few days ago. He said that he wouldn't fight me. Dan Beep said he wouldn't fight you? What was this? Maybe yeah. I missed this. Yeah, let me check real quick when it was. Yeah, go ahead. Pull up the receipts. Uh, where is my DMs with Rob? Because I'm, I haven't heard about this. I, last time I remembered, Dan Beep said he was down to fight you. Yeah. He said he said you were easy, and he said that Johnny Rob DM me, okay, Dan Beep doesn't want to fight you, but I really want to make you versus him. And then I said he's a pussy, he's dodging, he just wants to skip to the title, it's obvious. Damn, so Dan Beep really said that. Wow. Yeah, Did you? He's dodging me. Could, could you screenshot that and you know, maybe slide in my way, possibly? Or is... Yeah, bet, bet, bet. I'll or that shit. I wonder if DMs are appropriate to leak in. I already I leaked them in general. Once. Oh, you leaked them in general? Well, leaked the same exact one. Same exact one. Yeah. 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 Send it show. to me. Slide it to me. Um, I'll post it on the Kim show probably. You know, maybe generate some more controversy because you know everyone yeah. got eyes on the Kim show. Uh, that's... Yeah. 
It's better than some shows like Tyler Talks, am I right? <laughs> nice right? joke there, bud. Nice, oh, nice okay. Joke, bud. Yeah, okay, sure. Whatever, whatever. Bro, I popularized the um like news channels or media channels. You pop my you the best ones? Oh, I was the first one to actually I was the first fighter in FC to actually have one. Okay, maybe you're the first one, but I was the best I was the one who, you know, started this revolution of uh, media. It was real. I th I think Deuce I and Do and them said it themselves. I sent the DM. Okay. I I'll deal with that later. Um But yeah, so you, you got ducked by Dan B, man. I'm pre pretty sure you were for the fight last night, right? What? You were supposed to fight Dan B last night, right? Uh, yeah, but then we figured out, like, Johnny wasn't being specific enough to me and shit. Like, he said that he couldn't make it, but he meant he couldn't make my fight to quarter me for Fight Night 9. I thought mm -hmm. he couldn't make the thing at all. Okay. Yeah, otherwise I would have fought Dan Beeb. Yeah, shit. Alright, well, hold on. Dude, let me do ass beat. Let's let me well, what was your game plan for Dan B? Because I know he's a great wrestler. Wait, no. I was supposed to fight Sal last night and then Dan B fight 99. The winner of that match. Oh, right. Yeah, you were supposed to fight Sal. Who's ranked number five really right now. It doesn't matter. I'm going to beat Sal. I'm going to beat Sal no matter what. At fight 99. So. You know, right after this flying to London to go to the O3 arena. Mm -hmm. O3, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So I see. So oh, I see now. So you're number four. South number five. You guys put the fight. Winner gets number two, who's Dan Beeb. I didn't realize I'm Dan Beeb was four. so high. I'm three. He's four. Basically, the winner of this match fights the loser of Dan Beeb and Johnny. Wait. Uh, you're you're listed as number four. Because murder f murder Fazeev is number three actually, apparently. Ah, uh, they fucked up. Ah, uh, they fixed rankings again. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't know. So for Early Zeev, this morning, I was three. Okay, so I guess murder. What murder was middleweight? Um, he wasn't ranked number four. Yeah, I don't know why he changes division like every week. And his name, Murder Fazeev. I know. Or oh, whatever. Okay. A funny, but very very confusing, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, it looks like you dropped the rank game because of murder. I guess it's probably because he beat you in that one fight. Um, yeah. So I know if we, I'll beat him again. I mean, he's currently dodging a rematch. Well, maybe maybe he, he pick up another win. Maybe fight Sal again, or maybe try to make sure that work, works out. Wait, why did the Sal yeah. fight not work out? Uh, the first time I was going to my great aunt's like seventieth birthday and staying in New York for the night. Uh -huh. And then, um, the next time, I had I had to go to that bull riding event. You might have heard that. Uh, and then, maybe. and then for like an entire month of January, he just, he just dodged me. And then I had to slide into his DMs recently, fucking shit talk him, to DM Rob for the offer. And now it's going down, finally. Finally, so it's going. So when is the South fight gonna happen? Like two weeks or fight uh, FFC? Uh, like six days. Oh, it's gonna happen in six days. Yeah, five nine nine. That's why I'm going to London right after this podcast. Oh, so so next week. Okay. Yeah. Shit, I, I didn't realize it was that soon. I, I thought the <laughs> next fight night was going to be in two weeks. Deuce Wade said that at the end I'm of the day. trying to record the... my fight. i record the fight for me. So no. I know FC won't. They only do, like, main events. I record at... Or if I'm at the event, I'll, I'll record every fight and, like, every finish. Um, I bet. That's that's what I've been trying to do now, you know, trying to trying to help out. That's why the Kim show is the best media. Um, But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's Maybe I'll do it. Who knows? Hasn't um, been so active with podcasts like this, so gotta yeah. hope this helps it. Oh yeah, well it's been kind of tough, but you know, it's it's been tough to be active in the in the community. And I'm like struggling with college. It's not even struggling, but like just like trying to work on college. So yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Everybody's uh, got life. I mean, yeah. anybody I, puts life above Roblox, you know. Exactly, and I day, mean, Roblox and me. Right. And Roblox MMA, although it's fun and everything, it's cool to have this community, but I have to like focus on my my college stuff. But uh, yeah, that's more important. Yeah, just like just like how you know earlier today you said you had a little something to do. That's way more important. So I was like, if it doesn't happen yeah, today, way more. Then, yeah. I was like, if it doesn't happen today, that's fine. But um, what was I gonna say? Uh, shoot. 
Yeah. You sure second. the only one I told you that? Say again? You're the only one I said that to, I think. Okay, well, m m don't. I wouldn't say that to anyone else because I think people would yeah. probably make fun of you. He's so. Gonna, uh, they're gonna just fucking make fun of him. I know Trey did when I first mentioned it like a few months ago. Oh, he right. Did, Trey made fun of him. November? Was it November? Yeah. Trey uh, made November, that. Tyler. Yeah, I, I know. I, I've heard about that. Um. Oh, it's yeah. about Trey. He made his return to the Octagon uh, yesterday. You wanna know, yeah, you want to know what I told Ron Johnson? When, like, as he walked out, what? like, right when his music started playing and we were waiting behind that curtain for the beat drop, what, what I told him, him, I told him, eat this kid's ass. I fucking hate him. What? <laughs> Wait. I, I said that. I, I DM'd him that, and then in-game, I private chatted him saying... I want you to beat him up badly. Then I'm back in retirement. Shit, you said eat that man's ass. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting way to, you know, hype up your fighter. But, uh, yeah, Trey, he came back. I just don't uh, like Trey. Got One KO'd moves. in third yeah, round. Crazy, crazy shit. About that. Uh, it looks like he didn't want to block his body and whatnot. It was kind of crazy. Uh, it was yeah. like three kicks, three consecutive kicks, and then a back kick, and it just killed him. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, Ron Johnson, he's a mythical fighter. Uh, he never loses two times in a row. So I, I was kind of going yeah. into this fight, saying, um, going into this, like, yeah, watching this fight, thinking he's not going to lose because he just does not lose two times in a row. You know, that's just, that's just, that's yeah. just how he is. He's a good fighter when it comes to aggressiveness. When he fought you, I'll take the blame for that. I told him. Start off slow, but that oh. obviously didn't work. So you were coaching him against works. me? Yeah, that usually only works for like five round fights, but it worked for Vera yesterday. And after the match, he said I was best coach ever in the interview. Oh, shoot. Well, I, don't, I don't know what that's going to I don't know, but, um, you know, I, I didn't know you were coaching against me. Um, I had no coach that time <laughs> when, when, I, when I fought Ron Johnson. I really um, only told him three things. Damn, you try to pray my downfall, but it's okay. I I handled Ron Johnson um, respectfully. Um, I I was like, pick him apart. Um, uh, I think I think him going a little slow on me in the beginning was kind of like. I also wanted to wrestle you the first round, so. You wanted that him wasn't to wrestle my me, choice, but he wanted to wrestle you. That wasn't my choice, but I said go for it. What well, shit? I I, I have... his face into the canvas. That's I had anti wrestling on my side, you know. I didn't I didn't want to wrestle, so I just kept getting up. Um, there's a, if you, you know, if you ever watch yeah. the fight, I, I let him up every, like, I actually get up from dominant positions, like, three, two, two, three times, actually, just because I didn't yeah, want to wrestle fight. him, bro. I didn't want to fight him. I, did, I really didn't fight. want to wrestle. Yeah, it was a good fight. I would but... like to, yeah, I would like to see you guys rematch sometime, but, like, Tim actually fighting his normal way, aggressive. Because yeah. he's, he's, like, hard to keep up with when he's aggressive. Yeah, um... I was kind of expecting that. I don't know what happened, uh, cause I, I was expecting more like combinations. I was expecting like some some crazy ass flying attacks. Uh, I, <laughs> I think Maverick one time talked talked to me saying, "Oh yeah, when you fight, cause Maverick's not my coach by any means, but he, we were just talking. He was like, oh, by the way, when you fight Ron Johnson, he's gonna throw some crazy shit in the middle of the match, um, out Yo, of nowhere." Maverick's an op to that. Maverick's an op to that. Well, hold on, you're an op too. Hold on, honor boys. Okay, well maybe they're boys, but like I think me and Maver Maverick were just sparring, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, watch out for Maverick, you know, watch out for um Rob. He might throw some random shit out there." So I was expecting like a rolling thunder, flying knee, or a flying kick in the middle of the fight. Yeah, he he throws some crazy ass shit, but like he won't throw like rolling thunders or anything. That shit, that shit's bad. Nah, I think I think it was a really good fight. I think at the end of the second round, I caught him with a Superman punch. It was the first time I ever did one. And pop like I thought it was gonna KO him, but you know he ended up surviving. Man has a chin. Mm -hmm. But you know, Ron Johnson, all respect to that guy. Love that guy. Yeah, yeah love he, that guy. Yeah. He should get a title shot soon, maybe after Vera. Uh yeah, I don't know. Uh, he could probably get a title shot. It's, it's not not after me though, because I, uh, I I think I deserve a title shot sooner. But um, Vera's yeah. next in line. He's four and one. Okay, yeah. Four something like that. Well, shit. They should they should do me and Vera then. I don't know, but because I think. Bro, Vera's. Wait, what? Let's check Vera's record. 
Uh, I think Vera is. He's he is four and zero. Yeah, he's four and zero. He's he's on a four fight win streak. Hasn't even got a single title shot yet. He deserves it. Well, the thing is that, that hit, um, but before he was four and zero, he was gonna put the fight Ryu in FFC twelve alongside you in the co-main, yeah. and he, uh, he couldn't have the fight for the vacant belt. So he so it was Ryu versus Luke, the prodigy something. And yeah. uh, that man got killed, sadly. I mean, like, as we mentioned early, earlier, everyone has, like, a life. I know he's on right. a trip, I'm pretty sure he said. Oh, right. But Shoot. He's still a respected fighter by everyone, so I don't yeah. think Owen is really minded. Yeah. Much. Uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't care if they made Vera versus um, Ryu, or whatever Ryu's name is right now, but... Are you? Yeah, mm -hmm. but... Ryu uh, Rodriguez versus Rivera. I wouldn't mind. Um, in, in that case, I don't know who's really there for me to fight. Maybe I already fought Ryan Johnson. I fought Shaz to Diamond Scythe. Uh, he's low, Diamond Scythe's good. I know Diamond Scythe's good. People gotta watch out for him. People are I, doubting him. He's actually pretty fucking good. No, I, I know he's good. I, I sparred him a few times. We go back and forth all the time. Uh, he definitely he's has an edge on wrestling. He's my skill level. He's, yeah, his wrestling is insane. He's kind of a crazy wrestler. Um, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I like this. His wrestling's good, but honestly, I'd argue Diamonds is better. Yeah, it's a, I don't know. I, I think Diamond Cypher is he's pa the real his deal. His patience is just amazing. He denies, like, everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he's pretty. He's a great fighter. Great fighter. And I know Shasta's training with him a little bit. I know he's training with everybody. I know he trains with Ryu as well, so you know he's he, he already has like, you know he's in touch with the higher ranked fighters. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah. hoping I'm hoping I get that 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 championship belt around my waist eventually. Uh, I, I don't know, but I'm sure you will. You're probably gonna end up fighting like when Ryu and Vera finally fight. You're probably gonna end up fighting a loser of that, and then the winner of that probably gets a title shot. That's yeah. my guess. I, I think I think Arlen is a great fighter. I think Red Dragon is a good fighter. I think they're beatable. I feel like I, I feel like my style can beat them. Um, you and Arlen would put on a show because it's actually pretty interesting. You guys are you guys both like start off slow in fights with good stamina management and shit. So like that'd be good. Five rounder. You both like slowly get more aggressive. Yeah, I, I put it on in the later rounds. Uh, that, that might be detrimental for me in the future because like that's exactly what i told him yeah. to do last night start off slow get more aggressive mm -hmm. right that's why shasta was beating the first two rounds but i mean it worked out shasta drained he he made a mistake and he got the free sub on him yeah shasta that's should what... took the back mat not the back side right. yeah shasta good, good showing for shasta yesterday too i mean like yes he, yeah, he, he didn't did win it. but he, he had some pretty crisp boxing that was like kind of Kind of getting through to Vera's defense. Um, I know he didn't want to take those punches like that. She was hurting, but and I fought shots before, and he was he had some pretty crisp boxing even back then when I'm back then when we were both like basically unranked. Uh, he was yeah. he he's really good. Um, he's only getting better. Um, hopefully he doesn't retire after this loss. I, I remember one time he lost and wanted to retire from the game. This is his second loss. Yeah, in wasn't row, it so. from like a nobody in RCC? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm not sure. But either way, it's fine. Um, so, so your next fight is gonna be Sal, maybe next week. Um, but what, what is your plan of attack for the championship? Because Deuce might retire soon. Uh, he's been hinting at it a lot. Um, it's, it's you... Deuce, he actually just mentioned today that he's not fighting after FC 13. I'm pretty sure he said. So, is, so that's going to make the division a lot more easier. I feel like he's the only real challenge for me. You know, Tribe Ferguson's been saying some shit. Like, he should not be talking. Anyone in the top five, like, beats his ass. I think I think Tribe is like, a little bit right, overrated right now, yeah. Right when he gets ranked, he's getting his ass beat back to not ranked. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, the dude beat the worst kid in the Fed. And then he's I, talking shit about me only fighting mobiles when he beat the... When he's a mobile and... 
And Alex the dude Casilla? he beat is mobile. <laughs> yeah, Alex is a mobile, and he's the worst dude in the Fed. I'd argue Savion can sleep in first round. <laughs> okay, well... So I don't know why he's talking smack. All respect to Alex. Yeah, he's not, he's not the greatest fighter. I, I love his optimism, because when he lost, he was like, Oh, well, I, I tried, and then he came up to me, and he told me, he asked me, Did I do good for my first fight after getting KO'd in like, the first round? And I was like, Ah, oh, you know, we'll get better, but... It was, yeah, Alex Castillo, um, not the greatest, um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be mean and call him the worst, but I, I've definitely seen better, uh, so, yeah. You know, same, same thing with Alex, he's talking all this shit to me, acting all confident, and then when I offer him to, offer to fight him, he's dodging, like, murder and Thambib. So everyone's dodging you, you think? How about Johnny Bay? Yeah, actually... Speaking of Trey, going back to Trey, he actually dodged me too, like a while back, and he's still dodging me, even in spars. Oh no! For sparring the other day, I saw him not AFK, and then all of a sudden, boom, he's AFK. Minutes shit. later, he's walking in. I asked him to spar. He's AFK again. Oh shit! Damn, okay, that's a little. Lots suspicious. of people dodging me. They, you know, they doubted my striking before FC12. They saw that striking. They saw my iron fists. They saw so your they iron fists. Uh -huh. And now everyone's dodging me. Damn. Okay, well, yeah, we started a little bit before. I, I like your hands. Your hands are good. Your hands are good. I felt yeah, every good. everyone doubted them, and then I went into FC12 and gave them a show with the striking game. But, but then you got KO'd, unfortunately. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, how about, I mean, you're probably going to fight Sal. Hopefully that goes through. What's what's the next person after Hopefully. Sal? You, you murder Danby, Johnny, anyone from the from the, above you? Because right I'd now, I like a rematch against Murder or she. Honestly, I want I want the champ next. I want the champ because if I beat Sal, I'm gonna be three and one. And they mentioned you have to have at least three fights for um title shot. Just think, when Murder got his title shot against Deuce, he was only one no, and well, that was coming off of beating a shitty Luca. Well, I think that was because the server was small, but um. But still, I, there are probably other challenges. I think, I think when they mean by three three fights, I think they meant like you, you need to have won like three fights in a row for like a title shot, because like that kind of confirms the title shot. So I'm not sure since you just got off the loss of murder. I'm not sure if it gives you an immediate. Maybe I'll do. Title maybe shot. after Sal, I'll do like one more fight. But after that, I'm not fighting until I get a title offer. I'd say. I'll say that. If it, if it like, I'll go for four and you know who the fuck is this? What? So is someone in the game? Yeah. <laughs> no I have no idea what this guy is. <laughs> look look at his t-shirt. Look at his t-shirt. Nah, he's got the Adidas. <laughs> he's not even wearing pants. I, I have no idea what this guy is. Let's bro. just ignore him. We're, we're just gonna ignore him. We're just gonna keep we're gonna keep doing our podcast. It's not a right, private so server, but I was saying after after your fight with um after your fight with Sal. I think it would be a good idea for you, for you to probably go for Johnny Bates because he's number one, or Dan B. You could kill the, the Dan B. Pipe train, right? Because I think Johnny Bates is just better fighting. Easy, he fought two nobodies. He fought two nobodies and he's acting all good. Wait, who did Dan B. fight? He fought Rive and. Who did he fight again? Yeah, he fought Rive, who sucks dick at the game. Like, no okay, okay. I like Rive. I was good okay. friends with him. But I ran RKC. Like me and him would talk at events and shit. Like, I was good friends with him, but he's just ass of the game. I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I like he fought another nobody. Uh, I think he fought... I think he actually fought Tribe, right? Did he fight Tribe? No, no he didn't fight okay. Tribe. No, well, he didn't try Tribe. He fought this Ali kid that was 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. his debut. <laughs> he KO'd him in the third round. That kid was shit at the game. I watched that fight. He was not good. I mean, who is this Ali guy? Is he still on the server? Wait, oh yeah, I think he's still in the server. Yeah, he is. Okay, yeah, so yeah, Ali. So he fought two people making their debut. So with a combined record of zero and one, no zero and two. That's his opponent's record. He honestly he's... shouldn't be ranked before me. Like I know he's two and all, I'm two and one, but he shouldn't be ranked before me. Well, I I think just one. If there's one person to kill the hype train, I think I think it would be you. To be completely honest, um, uh, I, I know mean, he's a I good got fighter. A, but... I got a good reason to. Yeah, I think you put yourself in a good position. I think after Sal, and if he doesn't get it, I think this is how it's going to go. I think you're going to fight Sal. I think Johnny Bass is going to fight Deuce. Deuce is going to retire. 
they're probably gonna make the the, the, the title shot picture is probably gonna be like a vacant belt for Johnny and Dan Beeb. But if you were able to get a fight between you and Dan B before that, I think it would be like Johnny versus you for the vacant title. If murder, I'm, I, I forgot to throw murder in there, but murder is in there somewhere. But I, I don't know. I think you're in a good shot. I think I think a title shot could happen in like the next two to three fights if you play your cards right. Um, I just want my title shot because I'm going to be honest. Like this was before you joined like a while back. And mm -hmm. I was told if I beat Sal at, like, FCX or some shit, I'm mm -hmm. next in line for the title. But then, like, I couldn't go or anything. Hard to find a rematch. And then, like, server got a bit big. So I still want my title shot that I was supposed to get months back. Bro, who is this guy? Why is he back? <laughs> but, <laughs> wait. Just ignore him. No, He's going to the vending machine. Yeah, I know. I, I, um, I, I don't know what happened before i joined i know a lot of stuff happened um people have been coming to podcasts and recapping them all for me um however i feel like i feel like you have a a good skill set in arsenal i think you, i think you deserve a title shot eventually maybe not right now because you just you're coming off a loss against a murder uh an unfortunate yeah, loss right yeah but yeah so apart from talking about you and i uh, let's talk about some other prospects in the FFC, such as the, uh, let's talk about. Uh, I don't know. I like to talk about Stinky Sock. How do you feel about Stinky Sock? Bro, he's a fraud. I mean, you. We all saw what Ryu did to him in um. FC the other day, Ryu dominated him all three rounds. Like he did not stand a chance. He was mm -hmm. having so much trouble. Okay, shoot. Ah, uh, damn. So you're not part of that Stinky Sock. Um, he was a domination. So, so you, so you don't fuck I, with the Stinky Sock? I, I, I believe Stinky Sock is on the Dark Elixir. I mean, we can look back at that one win that he had with the Flying Knee. Didn't even touch the kid. Oh, well, we established it was, it was the Flying Toes, and it was the stench that got into the I, nose. I believe he's on the Dark Elixir that Dark Elixir Deuce uses. Oh, the same one that Deuce uses? Yeah. Wait, aren't you, aren't you also, on the, also on the Dark Elixir? No, I'm not. That, that's my brother. That's my twin brother, Kyler, you know? Oh, okay. That's the one, that's one doing all the drug deals and shit. Oh, and like, I see. You know, you know, he's he, accusing me of everything, but it's not me. Okay, right. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you. I'll leave you. No, I'm not doing the drug deals. Sal's buying them all for my brother. Okay. That's that's quite interesting. Uh, yeah, I remember that story broke out uh, like a month ago. Pretty crazy stuff. I mean, we can look at that drug deal picture. He, The dude clearly does not have a beard and he has different hair than me right 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 okay yeah I, I see i see um okay let's talk about some more lightweight uh unranked fighters that just fought uh krumov krumov just beat dior in a split decision victory uh did, did you watch that fight how'd you feel about that fight uh yeah i watched that in fact as a judge oh you were a judge oh so what was your yeah scorecard? i was a judge that scored it like 29 28 dior Oh, so you, so you had Dior winning? I had Dior winning. It, oh, okay. It really depended on the round, too. Round one was pretty much automatically Dior's. Uh-huh. And then Third round was... Round two, that was debatable. Round three was clearly the other kid. I, I don't know how to say his Kumas. name. Kumas, yeah. Yeah, yeah but... but the other two judges had um, Kumas for round two. So, you know, Dior yeah. believes he got robbed. Yeah, Dior said he got robbed, and then he left the server it afterwards. It really depends on the judge. Round two. Well, that's what happens when you leave it up to the judges, and you don't finish the fight, but, you know, it's all good. I personally had Dior. He showed more aggressiveness. He showed more striking. Um, I just think he did better that round. Yeah, Dior had a great showing. I, I, wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be upset with that loss, to be honest. Um, it could have gone any way. It was a really close fight. It was one of the closest fights in the FFC, to be honest. Um... But, yeah, he had a nice win in BSD recently, also. Yeah. It is what it is. Kumas, he's, he's coming up in the rankings, hopefully, maybe. Yeah. What, what do you make of him? What do you think about his skill? He's he's good, but, I mean, he, he struggled against Dior. I don't think he has a chance. I beat Dior on 1700 MS. <laughs> so, I don't know if he has a chance. I don't know, Kumas. But, I mean, his, never doubt anybody. Defense. The don't defense, count him out. Don't uh, count him out. I don't know. Maybe he'll get better, but if, if it was me, I think Kumas has 
like a terrible body defense because those those body kicks were landing like nonstop last night and it was kind of crazy and I, it was, I was kind of crazy that he didn't go down due to a liver shot at all but um I don't know what Stinky Sock is talking about right now in general. He's saying, I beat up Tyler Francis and he pinged me when me and him never even sparred before, ever. Oh, he said, Tyler Fr oh, Stinky Sock says, I beat up Tyler Francis. We were in the alley fighting leftover cheese. Wait, fighting over leftover cheese that was right in green mold forming all around it. I threw a jab hook. Wait, I threw a jab hook. Then he landed a leg kick and I suplexed him in <laughs> WWE. And started punching him. Then I clinched him and I throw a very hard knee to his head, knocking him out cold. <laughs> Damn, that's that's crazy, bro. What the? To be honest, the only reason I want to beat up Dan B badly is because like me and him have history. Like maybe like two years ago, me and him were actually fighting in a grips league called SEFL. Mm -hmm. Rigged owners, they rigged a lot of shit. They changed a lot of rules from the original grip feds, and I didn't like them. And I didn't know any of the new rules. Like, some submissions weren't allowed and shit, and I got one of those submissions, and I didn't mm -hmm. know, and I should have beat Dan Beeb, but it didn't count, and then, you know, he got a sub in, because what's, it kind of was not fair. What Should've submission was not allowed? Uh, I think it was, like, snap arm bar. It's, like, where the arm, like, glitches off of their body, and you're having the arm, and it's what? an arm bar. It's weird. That was, that was in the game? Wait, it was the... Grips is weird, yeah. It's not RCU. It's not Okay, right. that's, that's That's fucking crazy. It's, it's a different style of fighting. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, most shit. I need to check that out. It sounds kind of cool. But yeah, but... he doesn't let that shit go. So that's... So I have bad history with Dan Beeb. I want to... I want to beat him up. Damn. Shit. Alright. Well, you know what I mean? Hopefully the fight with Dan Beeb happens. Um, yeah. It doesn't look like anyone else in the... Fight. The lightweight division is on the rise. Oh, Tyler, uh, Kevin McGregor, though. What do you make of Kevin McGregor? Bro, he dodged Maverick last night. He He's just showing to the lightweight division. He doesn't have a chance against anyone here. Uh, and what, speaking about Maverick, he KO Deuce in BFC. Do you, do you think <laughs> Maverick is a best. threat? Maverick's the best? He Better than you? Maverick is the goal, bro. He'll knock out anyone. He'll beat Demby and JX combined. Yeah. I think... See, the thing yeah. about Maverick, I feel like he's so good sometimes. Like, he, like if I sparred him one time... No, it's probably like three times one time. And the man was hitting me with, like, the most devious and malicious combos in the world. And he KO'd me. And I think Black Black's Murder has... Or fucking Murder for Zeev has the screenshot. Of me sleeping in the octagon but then and then the next yeah, day we sparred and i was like i was like okay maverick let's spar again because like he, he's, he's a good fighter I, I was under the impression yeah he's really good if i keep fighting him i'm only gonna get better you know I, iron only sharpens iron and then when i when i sparred him i ko'd him like, KO him like three times like easily and i was like what the fuck's going on like man man just kind of gave up or man was a completely different person than he was the other day so. Yeah, I think it was like maybe two weeks ago, but me and Deuce were actually talking. We said that sometimes Maverick will be like actually insane at the game, like probably be like a top 10 player mm -hmm. in the entire game. And then sometimes he'll be like a shit fighter and be like worse than Savion. For real, it's, it's so like, weird. It, he just goes back and forth. Like sometimes he'll mess around or like rolling thunders for no reason. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm wondering and if it's Sometimes a... he'll just land some good combos. Yeah, I wonder if it's because like he's not trying, or or whatever. But like it seems like he's trying even when he's losing. So it's kind of tough to gauge. Like, you, you, I guess you just don't know what what Maverick is coming out when you're fighting him. I guess, which makes him a scary opponent. I feel so. I feel like if any lightweight thinks Maverick's an easy fight, there's a fifty percent chance that you're gonna be fighting a top five player in the world that night. It's it's crazy. I know. He just it's crazy. He goes back and forth. Mythical fighter, bro. Mythical fighter, Maverick. Um, He's, half the time. Like, yeah, like what we said about Ron John earlier. Ron Johnson, mythical fighters. Mythical fighter. Ron Johnson never loses two times in a row. Maverick, you have like a thirty percent chance of fighting one of the best players in the world. Um, that's, uh, that's scary. I'm glad I'm not in the lightweight division, to be honest. Lightweight division is kind of kind of fucked up. It is. 
probably the most stacked division, in my opinion. Probably is. Then I'd probably argue middleweight and then heavyweight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Heavyweight doesn't really have anyone in it besides Champ. He's yes. the really only good fighter in that. Salvador, and then there's also Stinky Sock, which you already said that you don't believe in the high train. Um, Ace yeah, Baldy he, and CSP just fought. The two Baldies just fought. And that was a pretty good fight. But um, Yeah, that, that was a good fight. I think every judge had Charlie St. Pierre actually winning, so it didn't really matter if he got the sub or not. Really, I, I had Ace Baldy winning, to be fair. He may... I, I just hate how some people do, like, they just go off of, like, stamina for who's winning. Mm -hmm. Like, you'll see a lot of people in sparring. Like, you'll beat them by points in a spar, and then they'll be like, no, no, I had more stamina than you, I won. Yeah, but yeah, really, like, it doesn't stupid. depend on stamina and right. who has more. It's dumb. Right. Like, no. I know that was the situation last night. Charlie had less, Ace had more, but Charlie just showed more dominance. He had more stuff landing. Mm -hmm. Show more strikes. Damn. So uh, every judge had Charlie. Shit, maybe I was watching a different fight because I don't know why, but I thought I had Ace winning. Like, I, I thought this, even apart from the stamina, I thought Ace was like putting the pressure on more, and I thought he was being more aggressive. And I thought he had more stuns and stuff. So I was like, yeah, not a single judge said Ace for any round. Damn, shit. I guess. Well, good job for CSP. His big round ass head and his big ears. Definitely an interesting <laughs> character. Um, we'd love that. Um, but he's, he's chill, dude. Met chill him in sparring last night after the fight night. Yeah, was he was he any good? I didn't spar him, but we just talked for a bit. He's a nice chill dude. I like him. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. 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 So, um, women division. We have uh Lexi with first win of the women's division. Uh. How do you feel about Lexi, aka GGT? Do you think <laughs> future champ, future champ uh, of uh, the women's division? You know, I'm one of her trainers. I haven't really. <laughs> I think she will be the champion, of the women's division. She's like the re only real competition for her is Sweet Star. I'd argue, yes. and I believe if she, if Lexi has good stamina management, that's better than Sweet Star. If she'll beat Sweet Star. Yeah, Sweet Star is no joke, bro. He she was able to. The dude's back. He's back. No, no, that's a guy, bro. This guy, oh, he's, he's he's he he walked up to me, bro. Oh, <laughs> why is he standing there? Either way, Sweet Star in Stun Gun FC, she was able to knock down for real, who was probably on the Dark Elixir. I, I think he was on the Dark Elixir in that fight. I'm not sure. Um, but we, the guy's been real quiet ever since he got caught cheating. So what do you make out of the, the cheating, Alec? No, the cheating from, uh, was these it? fighters. I, I didn't really hear. That right, good. I said, uh, for real, for, you know, for real, for real gone. Oh, for real, yeah. He got He's knocked down by Sweet I Star. I like him. He's a pretty chill dude. I believed he wasn't cheating because he showed me his files and shit, but, you know, not everything oh, is shit. real. It seems pretty people lie. evident that he was cheating. I mean, really... I got so many DMs talking about, oh yeah, he checks every leg kick. Like even when, you, as soon as you stand up, and you, as soon as, like someone told me that as soon as they stood up from like getting tripped or whatever, they went for a leg kick. They just spammed it, and then like he was able to block every single one of them. And I was just like, well, I, I know, that's a little suspicious because could you predict someone's gonna hit, hit a leg kick as soon as they get up? Like it's a little bit weird, but. Um, I mean, it it's is, possible. It's, it's possible. It's, it's just not. It's just not like probably. You want to bet that dude's gonna join back again in like five minutes? Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> at, at this point, I think he's one of your friends. You care to explain? Nah, he's not. I'll screenshot if he joins back again. All right. That's like his third time. All right. Hold on. Let me see if there's any more things to talk about. Um, let's see. Let's see. I bet Dark Elixir. Dark Elixir? How do you feel about Dark Elixir? Oh, and Wash, the, the new sponsor of the FFC, the Wash? special drink. I'm not 100% sure yet if it got confirmed, but I'm pretty sure Deuce and the other owners of FFC actually offered me and Murder to be the owners of Washed. I said sure, but it's not 100% confirmed yet. Right, because you and you and uh, uh, Murder are kind of like KSI yeah. and, uh, uh, and Logan Paul. 
yeah um yeah yeah wash i guess new sponsor um i i personally like body armor more or or whatever it would be called in yeah. NFC. i might have to go up and wait for that for that Which... um and <laughs> for what oh you fight me yeah oh uh, no nah, you don't want to fight me sure we'll have an exhibition that one day <laughs> no nah, dude i was i was i was lagging bro and you get murdered for three rounds straight <laughs> I'm not. Hey, you didn't, you didn't KO me though. You didn't KO me. I always. Oh, bop, 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 I, I bop, KO bop. you. Nah, 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 nah. You did not KO me. Nah, we fought to a decision, and you know, I got robbed. Of course, I, I of course I got robbed. You didn't get robbed. Yeah, of course I got I robbed. Ten stuns more than you. But it, it, if if anyone was judging that fight, it would have been like a ten six me every round. But and like yeah, you came. Sure. Maybe you caught me once, pretty good every round. Sure, but, buddy. Sure. It's whatever. Either way, you know, it's uh, it's fine. You know, don't don't sweat it, bro. Don't sweat it. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna so, come down to fight you. Don't worry. I don't want to ruin your record. But, how about yeah. how about I ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead and ask me some questions if you want to do that. When should we expect you to be fighting again? I'm not allowed. To, I'm not allowed to say. Um. Um. My, you gonna be my, anytime soon? Any offers? I, I I've got my offers. I've got my offers. So you know. probably FC thirteen, right? Um, I can't say. I can't say. I'm, I'm not allowed to say. I put to keep it under wraps for now. Um, I, I know it sucks for, for me to be like, oh, I can't say. It's kind of a boring answer, but it's true. I really can't. They're not, the, the higher ups are not allowing me, but I got my offers, you know. And you know, since I'm a big draw with my media, my only bros, my fights, my, <laughs> my, 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 my YouTube. Yeah, maybe we can take some pictures after this, like off camera. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. For you. For the gram, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so you know, I'm a I'm a pretty big draw in like almost every platform. You know, YouTube. I I even did you hear like okay, it kind of warmed my heart a little bit because even though Alex Castillo, he's he's really bad, but um, he said that he, he was on YouTube and he was watching Roblox videos and he saw Roblox MMA. And he saw my channel, so that's why he started playing, I think, or like I didn't something like that. Fuck you. We should just get so, uh, Stavion's popped up when I looked up Roblox and me. Shit, well, damn, well, I guess I'm, I'm low. Stavion has still. a good YouTube channel. I mean, I'll switch this up right now. Hold on. Let me switch Roblox and me real quick. Uh, but yeah, the fight, my fight. Uh, so I think I looked up UF, Roblox UFC or some crap like that. I looked up. Yeah, you're, you're not going to see me fight in a minute, uh, unfortunately. Oh, I see Savion. Yeah, I had my UFC debut in Roblox three months ago. Uh, yeah, he has uh, six hundred. He almost has one K views in this, like half half a K. Uh, so I know you're gentlemen. not supposed to reveal, but like, can give us a hint on who you're fighting next? Uh, who am I fighting next? Uh, a reveal? Nah, I'm, I don't. I'm not allowed to say, unfortunately. Some bro. hints. Some hints. Come on, uh, I, I can't hand, do it. I, I can't do it, unfortunately. Alright, who are some guys that you want to fight? Who's Besides the guys champ, I want to fight? Everyone wants a champ. Uh, honestly, I, I've never really called out anyone, to be honest. I've, I've, I've kind of just been taking taking fights as, I, as they go. They just give me whoever they want, and, and I end up going out there and just beating them. You, you know what I do. You know what I do. So, I, I, I really can't say... Um, I know I, I, these are some boring ass answers, but you know I got I got to keep everything under wraps. So Kim, let's say that FC continued with that like little lightweight tournament bracket to mm -hmm. fight champion at FC thirteen. Who do you think would won that whole thing? Uh, like who would who would won each round? I think I think Rive would have won the entire thing. R what? <laughs> no, okay, I was just okay. Um. I don't know, it's dude, because lightweight is such a such an unpredictable thing. I'd say you have a good shot at winning that, but honestly, I would argue I think I that. Won it, yeah. I think Johnny Bates and Johnny Bates might have, yeah. you know, might have hit you pretty hard and good. murder too. Murder might have. Johnny B, I'm, I, 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 you... I like him. It's just he's a, he's kind of a hypocrite. Like, I know me and him are good buddies, but like whenever we get a fight booked against each other. Like, he always starts talking smack and stuff. Like, he doesn't want to be friends anymore. And then, like, right after, he'll start, like, riding my dick again. Like, being friends again. Like, yeah. it's just weird. No. 
Yeah, uh, I, just my 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 interactions with Johnny Bates. I Man's a weird guy. He he, he, he kept I'm adding me a bunch of times this. too. What was that? I'm exposing for this. Go ahead. And like back maybe like a month and a half ago, when I wasn't banned from RCC yet, we were both in this RCC team called RCA, and mm -hmm. um, we would actually spar. Yeah. Me and him probably had around five spars. He never beat me because he couldn't wrestle. He didn't know how to wrestle. In fact, he asked me what a fake was one time. He asked you what a he fake was? He, he wasn't even he wasn't doing anything. He couldn't deny anything. Nah, that's crazy. So, so if I ever go against him, my plan's just out-wrestle him. Damn. Well, shit. I, I, either way, you got some killers in your division. So that whole tournament might be unpredictable. Murder might have been able to KO you with a sweet combo again. Maverick might have might have turned it up and become one of the best players in the the game for a night and beat everyone. Prediction of the what the tournament would have been like. I think I would beat Sal last night. Okay. And move on to fight night nine against Dan Beeb. Beat okay. Dan Beeb because let's be honest, he's overrated. He fought two nobodies. His striking's not good. His wrestling's not good. Then or, I and then from there I think I beat Dan Beeb, move on to FC thirteen for the title shot. Mm. And then lose to Deuce. You think you lose to Deuce? Then, yeah. I uh. I'm not being biased. I know I will. Okay. And then I think from there he'll retire and then I'll end up like Ryu. I'll get another chance at FC fourteen versus someone else for the ba for the vacant title. Wait, so wait, Ryu's Johnny fighting at FC fourteen? I don't know if he is. No, I'm just saying that's what happened. Oh, like, okay. FC 11, he fought Rob. Rob retired. And then FC 12, he got another title shot. He won. Oh, I think right. that's what would happen with me. Shit. Okay, so, so you're expecting to lose against Deuce. That's kind of crazy. Most fighters wouldn't admit I that. I only but... beat him one time ever in a spar, but it was actually kind of recent. Yeah, you know, I, I also I, beat I Deuce in a spar as well. I decision, and I won. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same way I did. That's the same way I beat Deuce in this bar. It was a three round, and I was I was arguably losing the the, the last one, but I think we all agree that. Yeah, was, that's what happened with me. Yeah, it was a pretty, because I I think I won I the won, first like, two. I won like first two rounds. <laughs> yeah. And then got dominated the third. Yeah, and then like the judges scored it. Oh shit! Like the fucking AI. No, the the fucking judges. The AI in judges, the game suck. The AI judges suck. Yeah, they suck. But the, I think me and Deuce probably agree that we both won, that, that I won that one. And then I was like, oh man, Deuce, what happened to you, bro? Complete dog he shit, you know? He, he hated it when I beat him because it's my first time ever. Yeah, nah, it's, it's funny, but all, all jokes, um, it was just a spar. I really don't hold spars up, up in high regard like that. It's like, if I beat someone in spar, it's like, whatever, you know, like, we're just sparring. But like, when it's an actual event, it's like... That, that's where it matters, I feel. That's where it matters. Yeah. Um, see, that's why that's why when I say I beat Murder twice in this bar, because me and Murder have only sparred twice, I think, or like three times. No, we, three times, I think. And I beat him every single time. And um, I don't I don't, really, I don't brag it above his head and whatnot because I know that if it was an event, there's a good chance that he might might play better and he might be able to win. Actually, no, I'm lying. Cause I, think, I think I'd still win. But uh, he... He, he he does this to all, all the fighters where he kind of just screenshots their KOs and spars and makes fun of them for it. So like he does it all the time. It's it's like it's it's like okay, oh huh, yeah, we lost a spar. My 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 bad, you know. Same thing could be done to him because he loses spars too. I see it. You know, I I the, the one time that he got knocked out, I screenshotted it. it. About him. What was that? Spar or real, spar or a real fight? Like he'll win some and talk absolute shit to the dude that lost but mm -hmm. then when he loses them like he'll just get out of their life forever and never speak to them again i find exactly. it kind of funny he, or he'd be yeah, like oh, yeah, that fight, honestly, BSP probably wouldn't be a thing <laughs> yeah to me about it i didn't go to him oh he came to you about it oh shit yeah no, that's that's funny as fuck because like the the, the whole sc scope of ffc could have, ch could have changed if you won. Like, it could have been very different. Yeah. Like, it was very different. You would have been like a top, top three or top two. I, right I'd now. probably be fighting for the title at FC 13. Um, 
Yeah. Maybe, maybe I don't know, but I know I would be like a title contender. I'd probably be number one because Johnny B was two and zero, and I would have been three and zero. I could. I honestly, I don't, I don't really agree with Johnny Bates being number one right now. Okay, so give me your opinion on this. He says that he beat Murder twice, and that's his record. He, he beat two. He's two and zero. Two wins against Murder, and the one time he beat Murder, like the first time, Murder was. A number one contender so he's a former number one contender but that was when the server was like very very small so, and he, he uh, johnny Bates was talking shit to me saying that his two wins against murder is is better than my resume which is shasta ron and uh uh Jeremus pierre <clears throat> and i'm like hold on you beat the same guy three times and i beat three different dudes all of whom are now honest? in the top five if I were the owner of FC, and I heard that the judge of the second fight between Johnny and Murder was corrupt, I would have easily turned it over. Win for Murder, loss for Johnny, make Johnny one and one, make Johnny, I mean, make Murder like four and two, whatever he is. That's what I would have done. Yeah. Well, that's not what happened. So, you know, it, it's, it's crazy how such small decisions small outcomes to fights can change the scope of the FFC. Uh, that small decision actually almost led to the end of the sponsorship between BFC and FC. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Well. Announcements and Rob responded to the original terms of that sponsorship and said never mind and then and then he said to that again when we worked everything out NVM sponsored again. <laughs> oh I assume. So. Kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. But uh -uh. Crazy stuff, crazy news, crazy things happening in FFC. Um, what else is happening before we wrap this up? Because we're about to reach an hour. Maybe just talk something, something else for like another eight minutes, if there's anything. And we're, we're calling it. Oh, you, you got every prediction right last night, huh? Yeah, I did. It's, damn. Okay, so we'll, we'll walk me through your predictions. So why did you think so-and-so was going to win? Like, we had... Oh, wait, Pierre, Pierre wasn't even fighting. You know. Today. Washington Biden, I knew it was gonna be a fraud and Luca, but I didn't know who was who. Honestly, if I knew Biden was Luca, I probably would have said he won, but I uh -huh. didn't know who was who, so just put W for him. Didn't know who Pierre Ace were, so I just put W for random. <laughs> Scythe versus Jackson, sparred Scythe, and I didn't know that Jackson was Colt, but I knew Diamond is fucking insane at the game for a rookie, so I put him. Ferguson versus O'Malley, I don't think that even happened. I don't know either of them. Just guessed on that. O'Malley was Dior and Tri Ferguson. I guess that didn't Gage happen. Gagey and McGregor. I believe Gagey would have won that, but McGregor didn't show. Little pussy. Komain, I had Ron winning no matter what, but I didn't know who he was against, so I just Can you imagine he had to fight match. me again? That'd be crazy. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be murder. I thought he's gonna trick everyone again. Dude, murder no, hell no, bro. Murder that twice in a row, bro, it would have been so upsetting. Like let's the man just wants the attention if he did that, bro. But I'm yeah. glad it was Trey. Then, and then Vera and Shasta, you know, I've known Vera a lot longer. He's probably my main sparring partner at the moment. I know what he's capable of. If he actually tries, he's, like, probably one of the best in the game. Yeah. Well, too bad I was sleeping. I'd argue he has probably some of the best stamina management in the game. While too still doing good damage. Too bad I was sleeping. Now, Shasta bro. actually came after me for putting Vera... As my win. Yeah. Or what is talking what? smack. Damn. He Hold him out. Smack? And then he stopped respond. He stopped talking about it. So we can say that he dodged too. <laughs> okay. Yo, everyone's Damn. dodging me. Everyone's dodging you, bro? I mean, I literally had shit talks out to get the smack in. Shit. So, so what happens if no one wants to fight you? You're going to go to like the heavyweight or something? You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna beef up? I'll have to move divisions. Which division would you go to? I mean, I don't think you're here yet, but I went through fat phase not long ago. You went through a fat phase? You no, know, in between that gap, like before I fought Savion and right after Mav. Long distance between my second fight. And you know, my guy kind of grew fat. My fighter. Yeah? Oh shit, you were fat. I man. was like, I was like super heavyweight. Super heavyweight? Oh shit. Yeah, like, like Damn, that's, that's kind of hot, bro. Well, I mean, oh, that's, that's, that's kind of not it, bro, I said. Oops. But, um, so, I got a question for you. Yeah, go ahead. Ask me a question. 
Who do you think the biggest dark elixir user is in the FC? Or well, some of them? Oh, I don't know because I got so much information that Deuce was, but I don't know if I believe that Deuce is. I believe it's Deuce. I don't know if I want to believe that. I think the biggest one is for real, but like I think he left already, so it doesn't count. Actually, fun fact Deuce called me out at FCX, I'm pretty sure. We still haven't fought. <laughs> and now yeah. we're going into FC 13. Shit, well. So, what do you think? Deuce is ducking you too? I mean, you never know. Cause he's the, the owner of the Fed. I still haven't got my match yet, and I was supposed to do a while back, so. Never know. I, th I think Deuce is ca capable of beating everyone in the lightweight division. Um, which is yeah. crazy to think about, because, like, I don't think he even plays the game that much. Like, he's not, he's not really training too Doesn't hard. Probably plays, like, once or twice a week. Damn, he's, he's on that Max Holloway no sparring training. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you see the, like, Sorrel Gain video or some shit? He said that he's lazy and he does not train at all until he gets, like, a fight offer. Wait, Sorrel Until gone? he accepts a fight offer, he doesn't train at all, Sorrel Gain said. Wait, Sor Sorrel gone? Yeah, Sorrel gone. I, I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> so he doesn't train at all until he gets a fight offer? That's crazy. He, he admitted he was lazy, and the only time he trains is when he accepts a fight offer. So... Actually, what's your prediction for March 4th, Jones and Gon? You don't, okay, I want Jones to win. I think Jones is going to win, but I'm unconfident Jones gonna because... Win. His reach is insane. His reach is insane, but you saw how Jones fought against Dominic Reyes, who's a guy... So, okay, here, here's my logic. Jones struggles against fighters that are like the same length as him and the same height as him. That's why he struggled against Alex Gustafson the first time. That's why he struggled against Dominic Reyes. But now he's going to be fighting a guy like Surreal Gone, who's probably even bigger, I think. Or, or just as big in comparison to, like, height and reach. And someone who's a natural heavyweight. And Jones is not a natural heavyweight. He has, like, thin as the wrist and ankles. So it's like, a part of me feels like if Surreal Gone is big, bigger, and, like, he shows up in his natural way, and he's... He starts kicking fucking John Jones' legs and his smallest ankles. Shit, shit, might, shit might be bad for John Jones. I don't know. I just don't think John Jones moving to heavyweight was a super smart decision. Um, but like then again, he's going for greatness. So I guess if he does win and gets the heavyweight championship belt, I mean, like he he's like basically the goat. I think he he would probably be like he up already there. my opinion. Like I think it's stupid how some people think Khabib is better than john jones i think khabib is not as not as great as john I'm, jones i like khabib a lot he's a good fighter but i don't he's not better than john jones yeah i agree so it's just i don't know i but think i will john say jones this won. if khabib had better striking like if he had maybe mcgregor striking he'd probably be top three oh yeah time. yeah his yeah, wrestling sure. pretty much helped him out his entire career yeah you know it's, it, when you're a specialist at wrestling and grappling and sambo i mean I guess it helps, so, you know. But it was just kind of boring to think, watch. Who do you think the John Jones of FFC is? The John Jones of FFC is obviously Yubin Kim, aka me from the Mr. Kim show right now. <laughs> um, the the John Jones, there is no John Jones in the UFC of uh, the FFC. I don't think there's nobody quite as dominant. I, I would say, I would say John Jones outside of fighting would be Sal with the drugs and shit. The, oh, oh the yeah, 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 oh, and, all that. In the like, the women beating stuff, I think probably like you a little bit, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And then like the fight, the fighting game, I'd say Deuce. So a few people could match so it. So if you combine all of them, you get John Jones. Here, here's my question for you: Who would you compare yourself as from the UFC? Like, if um, the fight, like who would you compare yourself as to? In regards to know. like your record, fighting style, maybe. record, everything. maybe. I don't even know, man. Damn, not a true UFC fan, huh? <laughs> I don't. I just don't know. There's a lot of them. Uh, let, let me think. Lots let me think. of fighters. Because I, honestly, I, I I've compared Chris Gaethje, aka Maverick, to Michael Johnson. Michael Chandler. No, Michael oh. Johnson, because because Michael Johnson, he he KOs Kamar Usman in sparring, and then he. Yeah. And then he loses to Dan Guida in, in the fight. It was, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Um, so I think because of inconsistency, I give Chris Gaethje Michael Johnson. 
Um, Deuce. So we know. What? We know that we heard that the ultimate fruper might be starting soon. And who who do you think are going to be the coaches for the I, ultimate I, fruper one? I thought it was going to be Deuce and Rob, but I don't think they're going to do that, especially if they're both retired. So honestly, I'd say a good one. Like, like we know I want the rematch, and Rob said he kind of wants it. I would say me and Murder. You know? I think I think you and Murder would like, been a, it would we, be a great one. You go through the coaching system and shit, see who wins all that, and then we have the rematch at the end, like what they normally do. I think that'd mm -hmm. be a good process. The only thing, the only issue I have with the Ultimate Fruper is like how would it even work? Like you would need to get like a bunch of like new players to want to join. And yeah, then, you'd like, have to get like a bunch. Like I know. They already have like a bunch of zero zeros, but like you'd have to probably get like twenty more, maybe fifteen. Yeah, like you need like, yeah, at least 20, at least fifteen to divide it up. But so I, like, I don't think that'd be a, I don't think that'd be a problem for the FC, especially because they're like, the biggest non AAC fed. Right. Like if you go into United Undisputed Con Combat, I don't know why I called it United. If you go in and then to the leagues area, it's actually the second biggest league in the game. Right. After RCC, of course. Sure, I didn't know that, but uh, yeah, I I'll check it out. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, you and you and Murder, amazing, uh, amazing uh, coaching for the Ultimate Fruper would be super fun to watch. Um, yeah, I I corner a lot of guys in FC, and I think I could coach them. I mean, yeah. we heard what Vera said last night. He said, I'm the best coach ever. Yeah. It'd be interesting. Maybe. Maybe. But who knows? I don't know if an ultimate fruit can happen anytime soon until we get, like, a, like unless they advertise a headline and be like, oh, we're doing an ultimate fighter type stuff. If, you know, but, um. Yeah. That would be kind of weird because can you imagine, like, the advertising goes out and it's what, like, a good fighter. They would just create an alt account and just starts killing newbies. That'd be a little bit fucked up. So, uh, yeah. You know, I don't know. There's, there's a bunch of things to work out with that, but I, I think it would be a fun idea. I think they need to do it uh, one day. I I would be excited to see them do like a tournament, if anything. I feel yeah, like a tournament. And if they don't do that, another good idea would be like maybe have like a fighter host like a tender series or some crap. Oh, yeah. A contender series should be fire. Uh, but I would argue. BFC is basically the contender series oh, yeah. for WFA mm -hmm. of FC because we, me, Rob, Deuce, Murder have been talking. We've been saying that, like, FC is like a talent pipeline for the FC. Like, if Rob and Deuce want to come check into events and stuff, they're going to scout out fighters. Right. See if they want to, like, get them fights in FC, sign them. Right, like, that yeah. was, like, the main deal behind our sponsorship. Yeah, I think, I think that's a smart thing, too, because, like, th that can... That can also help filter out like which fighters are gonna be inactive and which ones there aren't because we have so many inactive fighters here in FFC like Lean Montera and like some other fucking nobodies. But um, yeah, yeah, I think it'd be a good idea to send them there, have them fight each other. You know, one comes up on top every here and there, it gets scouted. Um, you know, we find a Chris Moutinho in there. Uh, it'd be really cool. But yeah, um, I don't think there's any, anything else to talk about. So I think I might just have to wrap yep. it up. It's been an hour and five minutes. It's a pleasure having you on here. Any last words you want to say to everyone watching the Kim show? Because you know we get like sixty to seventy uh, views per video now. So let's have a good night, I guess. Have a good night. I don't no, know. <laughs> nothing else. You don't want. You don't want to say nothing. You don't want. You don't, you don't have any Yo, requests. I, yeah, actually, yeah, I have something to say. Be ready to see a murder in six days at the O3 Arena. In London, oh. against Sal. Yeah, and for right. whatever they call it, or whatever. Because I know they do like weird names for that crap. All right, all right, sounds good. All right, y'all hear y'all heard it. Tyler wants to murder Sal in six days. Um, all right, other than I that, will, I will, I will, oh, I will. Okay, okay you will. I will. Okay. <laughs> all right, other than that, that wraps up the, the wraps up the the recording. Uh, good night, everyone. See ya.